Hey everyone, we're back with another crazy video. It's got escaped prisoners, vengeful officers, crying adult men, you know, all the stuff we love. Watch the whole video and at the end we'll do a little recap. See you then. Our video begins with several sheriff vehicles pulling over a van and executing an arrest warrant on the passenger of the vehicle. I'll call it out, I'm in. The reason for the arrest warrant was that our passenger here was accused of stealing checks from mailboxes with these two women, as was stated in several news articles. Hello, how hey, are you? Good, you? Good, thank you. Roll down your window. Roll down your window. You Unlock the door. Unlock the door. Unlock it now. Unlock, Unlock it the now. door now. Now. Do it now. Now. Do it now. I'm gonna break the window. Unlock it. Open the door. Open the door now. Stop. Nobody's hurting you. You're under arrest. You have a warrant for your arrest. Didn't even want to. That hand on the top of your head. Do you have anything on you? Yes or no? I want you to leave me alone. We'd love to leave you alone. You have a warrant for your arrest. Do you have anything in your pockets? It's going to stick me in your pocket. Tell me now. You're so frightened, man. There's a hiding. Okay. Oh, I want you to leave me alone. I don't want you to leave me alone. Okay. I don't you want to go to your jail. Happen. I don't want to go there. I didn't do anything for fun. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go to your jail. I don't want to go. You got a warrant, sir. I didn't do this. How long is it? I don't want to go with you. <laughs> Buddy, you got a warrant for your arrest. I don't want to go with you. You don't own me. I'm not your property. Who's going with? Where do you want to get it? I'm not your property. I want to go home. Alright, you got a second. I am not a piece of property. I want to go home. Please leave me alone, please. Okay, when they go to the jail, they're going to do a very thorough search, okay? If you listen to me. I don't have anything else. I told you what I did. Okay. I want to go home. Listen, I don't want to go to your David, jail. David, if you have anything hidden on you. you. They're gonna find it, and it's an extra charge. Okay? I don't have to. Okay, I just have to tell everybody that that goes in. Okay. I want to go home. Well, that's not gonna happen. It's a stupid piece of paper. You guys don't own me. I'm not property. I'm not cattle. I explained to him what was going on. I'll start checking the car then. Okay. You guys got him out. I am not cattle. I want to go home. The deputies apprehended the suspect without any issues and called for a marked vehicle to transport him to jail. Please don't make me go, I want to go home. This is where we meet Deputy Andrea Covert. We'll be seeing more of her. I'm sorry. We just started walking. I don't want your services. Why are you forcing your services on me? I don't want to go in the car. Yeah, you want to switch out the car? I fear for my life, but I don't want to go. No, she's a good driver. You're a good hand. <laughs> You're kidnapping me. I got it. I didn't do anything to deserve this. I didn't do anything to deserve this. I want to go home. I want to go home. I don't want your services either. No one does. Thank you. We're sorry. Thank you. Please, I want to go home. Please don't do this to me. Honey, do you even want to go home? I don't want to go with you. Please, I don't want to go home. Let me go home. Please, Please help. Deputy Cover begins driving the suspect to jail. However, something happens on the ride, and they wind up at the hospital instead. Come up. We don't know exactly why they were diverted, and due to HIPAA laws, the Sheriff's Department has redacted this portion of the video, so we may never know. The 
the video comes back, we find ourselves in a chase. The suspect has escaped from the hospital and is fleeing on foot. You can see the hospital on the map here, and the cornfield to the north, which they find themselves in. Come back here now! Charge. Yep. Why? Good job. I want nice to go job. Home. That's a new charge. Get in the back of my car now. I want to go home. Get in the back of my car now. I want to go home. Other side. What do you mean? I want to go home. I don't want to be here in jail. I don't want to be in jail. Get in. Get in. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize there was a door. No. There's another door. We were standing right outside the door. And he's like nodding off. I'm watching him nod off and he just books it. Sorry, Tony. Okay. Oh, good job. You caught yourself a new charge. What? Wonderful. What did I say? What did they do? Oh, trying to I escape? Don't know. I just want to be you don't you don't think that's another charge? I nice just job. Want to be free. Very nice. I don't I don't care. You have a warrant. I don't, care. I don't, want to be I don't care. You're done. You Stop talking. Like Stop talking now. Please. Stop talking. Why? You're done talking. Stop. I don't want to hear you cry anymore. Stop. I don't care. Why don't you care? I'm not your property. I don't care. Stop talking immediately. Go well, now you're going to be handcuffed for the rest of the time. Oh, Good job. I'm sorry. No. I don't care. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Why are you being so mean to me? Stop. Please stop. Stop talking immediately. 
Please stop being mean to me. You were not mean to me before. Now you're being well, now you just ran. So now you pissed me off. So shut the f up. Uh. Stop talking. Stop talking. I told you to stop talking, didn't I? Stop talking. Stop talking. Where did you dump the hospital gown? I'm scared. Where did you dump the hospital gown? Where did you dump the hospital gown? I'm you stole that too. Okay, so that's a theft charge. Where's the hospital gown? No, I didn't steal anything. Okay, well, you stole that. Good job. I didn't realize there was another door there. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'm coming. Get, Get out. out. Let's go. Stop being mean to me. Get out. Get out. Yeah, stop being mean to me. Get out. Check it I out. can't. And My make foot's sure stuck. Right Stick it. Yourself. David. She's being fing mean to me. You ain't fing tough. Speak your fing tough. You ain't shit. So here we are again. Another video in which the actions taken after the arrest are far worse than the original crime itself. Our friend David here gets an F. If he had simply complied with the officers, he would surely fare better in court than after an attempted escape. The deputies from McHenry overall get a B. As a whole, they were professional and did a good job executing the arrest. However, one bad apple ruins the bunch, and the behavior of Deputy Covert makes it impossible for me to give the department an A. Deputy Covert gets an F. First, for creating the opportunity for her prisoner to escape. And second, for allowing her emotions to get the best of her and turn her heartless and cruel. The best officers are the ones who can remain calm and professional under pressure. We saw a great example of this in our last video with Sergeant Sanders from Crystal Lake Police Department, which I encourage you all to watch if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We have more videos on the way. We'll see you soon. And remember, stay out of trouble.